Hi guys, I'm going to show you how to make an eye of round roast really tender and flavorful in your crock pot. Just put everything in in the morning and let it cook all day. Stay with me. Okay, so I just took my cream mixture that I made. I'm making this eye of round in a crock pot. Um, and I'll have all the directions below, but it asked for bouillon powder, broth, onion powder, celery seeds, sugar, some minced garlic, and some Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce. And so I just mixed all of that in here. And this, when I made my cream soup, it made a big pot. So I didn't feel like I needed to add more broth um, because this is probably what one can would look like if I had added a can of broth. So you can just adjust it as you go. Okay, so the recipe calls for a three pound eye of round roast. And you're supposed to dredge it in flour. Get your pan going, because you're gonna sear this baby. Okay, so we're gonna dredge this. I'm just gonna get flour all over it. My mom makes a really good Swiss steak recipe that um, does this. You dredge little bits of stew meat. And so I always think of her when I dredge beef. Um, and I've never been able to do your your Swiss steak like you, Mom. Um, it's, it's awesome. Okay, so we're going to add some oil to a pan. Have your pan get hot. Okay, so I have some oil in a pan and I've got my dredged beef and I am just going to sear all four sides. The recipe said to take about five minutes per side and trust me when you do this um, it will be so good. So just take your time. Okay, while you're waiting, spray your crock pot. You can see the smoke coming off that smells so good. Okay, so here you can see one of the sides seared. You want it a caramel color. Okay, we're seared on all sides and ready to go in the crock. Okay, so I've put it now in the crock. Now I'm going to pour over the cream mixture that we made. All that deliciousness. If you wanted to, you could have chopped onion in here, you could have mushrooms, you could put other veggies in here, but my family is pretty simple that way. Now, look at this. I have all these delicious drippings in here. I don't want to let them go. So, I'm going to add a little bit of water to them and add them to the pot. Just do it while your pan is still hot. Try to get everything off the bottom because all those bits are flavor, as they say on Food Network. You don't want to water it down too much though. And just add that. Put your lid on. Cook it on low for seven or eight, eight hours on low. Okay, and after it's cooked all day, here's your meat with some rice and some gravy and a nice salad, and you have a perfect dinner. Hope it works for you. Thanks. Bye. Okay, so I know that roast seemed like it took a really long time and if you're able to just put the cream of mushroom, cream of chicken, whatever soup in, then it's a lot faster for you. Um, for me, I'm not, so that's why it took a while. But it's a really, really, really good roast and you'll be glad that you spent the time um, to put into it. So I hope you enjoyed that recipe. Please like, subscribe, comment below. I'd love to hear if you like the recipe, if you'd like more of these videos and what kind of videos you would like. Um, my homeschool videos tend to be pretty popular, sometimes my Dollar Tree, but I'd love to know what kind of videos you'd like. So please let me know. Thanks, bye.